the 10th. Mountain Division. Among troops who led the Afghanistan surge, the man who's launching the drawdown was welcome. A day after his primetime announcement, President Barack Obama told soldiers of the 10th Mountain Division their heroics make it possible. We have turned a corner where we can begin to bring back some of our troops. Obama's plan would bring all 30,000 surge troops home by September of next year, but still leave 70,000 to continue the battle against the stubborn Taliban, while diplomats try to get peace talks going. And because of you, there are signs that the Taliban may be interested in figuring out a political settlement. Meantime, the Allies are following suit. French officials announcing they too will draw down a force of 4,000. While the president was discussing his plan with the troops, aides back here in Washington were defending it, both against hawks who called it a politically driven rush to the exits, but even top Democrats who worried it doesn't move fast enough. Presidents have to make the tough calls, and this president has made it. Secretary of State Hillary Rodham Clinton heard bipartisan gripes about pouring lives and treasure down an Afghan sinkhole. I have a real skepticism about our mission. Bin Laden is dead. There are less than 100 al-Qaeda fighters in Afghanistan. People talk about winning in Afghanistan. Well, we won a long time ago. Yet elsewhere, Obama took flack from those who think he's exiting too soon. With the Taliban stumbling, we need a strategy designed to knock the enemy to the mat, not give them a breather. Obama's top commander made clear he would have liked to keep more troops in the field longer. The ultimate uh, decision was a uh, more aggressive uh, formulation, if you will, in terms of the timeline uh, than uh, what we had recommended. Ditto the Joint Chiefs Chairman. More aggressive. And, and incur more risk than I was originally prepared to accept. Still, both military men backed Obama's call, saying only the commander-in-chief can truly balance risk and reward and decide when enough troops are enough. Mark Smith, The Associated Press, The White House.